welcome back to my channel. Today I'm shooting a haul, as you know. I posted this photo on Instagram of just like my rolling rack and so many of you were requesting a haul. So here you go, here's your haul. Today I have items from H&M, Topshop, River Island, and Zara. So it is quite, oh, and Free People. So it's quite a big haul, quite a large haul. But let's go ahead and get started. So I guess we'll go ahead and start off by store. Um, I think that's easier. Or do you think it's easier to do like bags, tops, dresses, shoes? I don't know. You tell me what your preference is in the comments below. First, I have got this bag from River Island and I think it's so pretty. I love the print, I love the color. I think it's really pretty with denim because it's got this blue. I also love the embossed handle. So, and it's perfect size, easy open. Next, I've got this tote from River Island and it is basically just a good carry-all tote. It's nice and structured, it looks really clean and I also like the gold chain strap on it. I think it looks really nice. Bonus, my whole laptop fits in here. This is a great travel purse because it does fit so much stuff inside of it. And I believe it comes in multiple colors. I got the black because believe it or not, I don't have a long handle black purse. So weird. What else is from River Island? Oh, here we go. So I got this camisole. I think it's so beautiful. It's black and embroidered. So it's got actual embroidery on it. It's not just print. I think the colors are so pretty too. So you guys know my style pretty much by now and I like to wear this over a t-shirt as you'll see in the video. I'm just wearing this over a basic white t-shirt. I think it's like such a great way to layer without you know, being too layered up and too warm. I think this is a really good option. Next from River Island is this one piece bathing suit. I think this is so cool. It's got like the best colors in it. It's lavender with the gap right here and a clasp in between the bralette. And then the back just has a simple line. I just think the colors are cool. I love the style. I love the print. I wish I loved all my bathing suits as much as I love this bathing suit. <laughs> Makes you wanna throw all of my bathing suits away and like, start over. Now I will get into my H&M stuff, which is only one thing. From H&M I got this bomber jacket and I love a good bomber. I mean obviously I have so many just like fun detailed bomber jackets. I never let one pass up. I always grab it because it's so easy to throw on over a white t-shirt and jeans. It makes your whole outfit. So I grabbed this one. I love the colors. I love the little tigers on it. Wait, is that a tiger? Yeah. And it's quilted and it's almost like a satiny material. It's really nice. And then I love the glitter detail in the um, the collar and surprise, it's on the sleeve too. I got a size two in this. Cause it's oversized. I mean, you could get a, you could go like a couple of sizes up or even like one size down and I think you would be fine because that's just kind of how oversized things work. So I have one pair of Topshop shoes that I'll show you really quickly and it is these boots. And I've been wanting a pair, they go around the ankle like this, actually. I've been wanting a pair of white boots for a couple of months now. And I saw these and I thought that they were more my style. I wanted something that was white, but also fun at the same time. So I just thought this was kind of exactly what I was looking for. I like how the studs are big and then they get small. So that way it's not like, whoa, studs. You got some studs on your boots. Just like, you know, minimal stud. Like, hey, those are cute studs rather than like, those are studs. I love these. So, what do we have? I will do my Free People items. My first Free People article of clothing. This, drop the tag back in there. This like suspender onesie, like culotte pant. And I'm gonna like, this is, you're gonna have to just see the video of what it looks like on, but it's basically, you can wear the straps either down or up over your shoulders, but I think it's so pretty with just a basic white t-shirt or you could do a white button down with the straps hanging down. It's a little big on me in the waist, so I had to take the tie and actually tie it around and tie it in the back. It's this really pretty rust color with black pinstripes. I know it looks kind of red in the video, but it's, it's like a dark rust. Days where you're just running to the store or you're like running shopping, you want to be comfortable and you just like throw these guys on. They're easy to get off, easy to get on. And next I got a robe. Let me just tell you, I have had the same robe for 
like six years and it is, I don't know if I'm growing or the robe is shrinking, but it just keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And now whenever I have people over, I'm like, can you turn around? I have to like reach up and get something. Like it's, it's the sleeves are like up to here now and it's gotten shorter and it's just a wreck. So I just put it in the donation bin. It's still a really good shape, but it's just, it's meant for like a tiny person now not so much like a grown adult person. So here's my new robe. That This one, obviously from Free People, um, it's like a long robe. It goes down to like pretty well past my knees. But I just thought the print was so pretty. It's this like florally print and then it has, let me show you, like this stripe and then the, um, the tie is that same stripe print also. And then it has balls on the end. These kind of get in my way though. They kind of like hit me and when I walk. But um, yeah, I thought this was really pretty. It's super lightweight and can roll up into a small ball for traveling. What else did I get from Free People? Oh, these Jeffrey Campbell for Free People shoes. And before you say ew or you laugh at me, they are so cute on. They're like Princess Jasmine shoes. And I just think they're so fun. They're actually a little bit more gold than they show up in the video. They're like a true, true gold. So I'm gonna try them. I usually don't do try-ons for shoes because when I hold them up, you can kind of guess what they look like, but I will try these on so you guys can see them. So you're gonna bite your tongue if you say you hate them. So next I have a couple of shoes from Steve Madden and these are the first ones. I, they come in brown too and I am already need to order them. They're so cute. So they're just basic faux suede black kind of like a chunky heel and they're really cute dressed down with jeans or like long skirts. Hey, this is a display with stickers on it. But yeah, I love these. Like I said, they come in brown and I want to get them too because they're like that pretty tobacco-y brown color. So I think um, those go with everything. My next pair of shoes from Steve Madden are these guys and I love these. They're like a espadrille platform espadrille. I like the um, netty material. I think it like allows your foot to breathe when you're walking. They're so comfortable. They're so 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 lightweight. Usually my platform shoes like this are so chunky and heavy but these are like really really light. I don't know I can see me wearing these with like crop jeans or shorts um, and they make me really way taller, so that's always good. These also come in black too, I believe. I was kind of disappointed when I got them because in the photo, they're more of a tobacco brown, like almost like this, but then when you get them, they're like tan, but I ended up like loving them, so. Get into my Zara stuff now. I think that is it for, oh, from Topshop, I got this black belt. I have it in silver, the one from Urban Outfitters, but I found this one in gold and I think it's so pretty. It's just like a good basic, like, I mean, it's about, and it's, you know. My first item from Zara is this striped purse. I think this is so pretty with just like almost anything. I mean, you can add it to any type of print and it's just so cool. I've said so many times before, and you guys in my Life by Her Lookbook know, when you're wanting to mix prints, it's always good to start with a stripe because it's just such a good basic print that will almost correlate to anything. I had to have this. I was like, this will be so easy to match with so many things. Next from Zara is this two-piece set. Um, this is the top, and then these are the bottoms. The, it's so lightweight too. It's almost too lightweight because it's almost kind of see-through, but I think with the stripes, it's kind of hard to tell. But um, the pants are kind of high-waisted, stretchy waist culottes, and they're so, so comfortable. And I love this set together, but then also I feel like you could wear them separately. You know, maybe do like a basic t-shirt with this or a blazer or a jacket. Um, that way you're kind of getting a two-for-one. Actually, you're not because I had to pay separately for both of them, so take that back. Next from Zara is this lace top. I love this. I think this is so pretty. I always like getting things with texture or lace or something to like elevate your top. Instead of grabbing a basic top, maybe grab something like this. So if you're just doing like a basic pair of jeans, adding this makes so much more of a difference than grabbing, say, just a basic white t-shirt. So I think it's good to have a few of these stocked up in your wardrobe. Next is this sweatshirt. 
and I've been wearing this around the house like nobody's business but it's so it like clinks on everything because of the studs so like that's what I sound like when I sit down in a chair and Ryan's like um that's annoying <laughs> Like, sorry. I love this. I think this is great for traveling, great for like running errands around the house. It is a sweatshirt. I know most of you guys are in hot weather, but I'm still in, like it's supposed to snow this weekend. So I'm still kind of buying sweatshirts to get me through the next like couple of months where I think it's still supposed to be like, you know, not so hot. Next we have this button down. This is not just any old button down. This has an open back with ties. And I think this is cool, I love this. I have like probably seven white button downs and only one of them is like a basic. The other ones have like embroidery or like an open back or you know a split back, something. I just love button downs with fun detail because I think kind of like this top, it's just good to throw on with a pair of jeans and yet you've got like a whole outfit because your top has like you know, something cool, something extra to it. Next we have this little cropped guy. Oh, what did I get on it? Oh no, that's print. This is more, this is, um, this is a little cropped. This isn't like a full length long top. This is pretty cropped. It has two ties on the side and it is impossible to get over your head. I remember when I tried it on, I couldn't find one that didn't have makeup all over it. And so I asked for a new one. I'm so annoying. At home and tried it on and I was like, no wonder there was makeup because it is impossible to get off of your head. I think it's cute with like high-waisted black denim, some black culottes. It's just fun. Like a fun little top. This dress, it is black with some like ruffle gray detailing at the bottom and then on the sleeves also. I really like the silhouette of this dress. I like how it's you know, a little flowy, but straight down, and then you really get a full effect of the details on the bottom. This is kind of one of those things where you can wear a little dressier, but then you could also throw on, you know, something like this, maybe not this color exactly, but like a black one, something like this, and then you have yourself more of a casual street style outfit. This is, don't laugh, this sweatshirt with the giant sleeves. How many of you guys were like sending me a photo of this on Instagram and they were like, this is so you, you need this, so you, you have to have it. So I'm in Zara the other day and I saw this and I tried it on and I was like, this is so weird, I have to have it. So I ended up buying it because it is kind of cool. I mean, it's like cool and almost an ugly, like what is that type of way? I don't know, it's really grown on me. I think it's good for traveling and more obviously more like casual, you know, throwing on with a pair of jeans and flats and like running to wherever you need to go. But this is so my style. Flowy, comfy, big sleeve, bofer. Next is this dress, a sweatshirt slash girly dress, which is just so me, all into one piece of clothing. I love this. Long cuff, a tighter long cuff, so it kind of ruches the sleeves a little bit um, to where they're a little bit billowy in the arm. But I don't know, this is just one of those easy dresses that you can throw on with like a wedge sneaker or something, or you could do sandals, make it girly. It's just kind of, no, whatever you want it to be, this is what it is, so I love this. Next from Zara is this yellow, <laughs> that looks funny, and gray top, or is that green? It's like green or gray. I just thought it was so pretty, and I don't have anything yellow in my closet. I just don't think it's a good color for me. Nope, still not a good color for me. I like the ruffles on the sleeve and I like how it's cropped with a elastic waistband and also elastic armband. And you make it as long or as short as you want. But I don't know, I just thought it was a really pretty color with blue or black denim. Next we have, don't laugh, this skirt from Zara. And I couldn't do a try on with it because I need to get it tailored. It's so big on me. It just like falls off and falls off, so I'll be, I can't try it on. I get it tailored, I will try it on. I love it, I love all of the colors, I love everything about it, I love the ruffle. If you hate it, just give it a chance. Just wait till it's in an outfit, wait till it's styled, and then you can judge me all you want. But for now, let's just leave it as a maybe. And lastly from Zara are these jeans, and I just thought they were cool because there is like a dark denim strip down the side on both sides and then you've got a little fraying right here. So I just thought this was like a good basic pair of detailed jeans that I don't really need but I got anyways. Got a size, you always ask me what size I'm wearing in my denim. I got a size 32. 
They're very comfortable. They're those like really, really stretchy denim that, you know, when you squat down and come back up, it kind of, the denim like moves with you. It doesn't stretch out and stay that way. My favorite kind of denim. All right, I believe that is it for now. I hope you guys love this haul. And a couple of more things, but I'm gonna wait until talking trends for the next episode. But yeah, I hope you loved it and stay tuned for next month's Life by Her lookbook. You will be seeing more spring stuff, more stuff just like this um, actually styled with shopping links. So if you are interested in that, click the link below to go check it out. I'll put the link right here also so you guys can um, just type it into your browser. But that is all I have for you today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I mean, he creeps on us too, so. It's a mutual creeping. I've made eye contact with him three times this week. He's seen me naked. Me too. What? So we 